Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Janati Stolirov II. I'm the chairman of the United States Transhumanist Party and the chief executive of the Nevada Transhumanist Party. And with me, I have the great honor to have uh, Grand Duke Travis McHenry of West Arctica. So, welcome to this interview. Please tell our viewers a little bit about West Arctica, how it got started, and how long it has been in existence. Well, in 2001, I discovered that there was a piece of Antarctica that had not been claimed by anybody, so I decided to go ahead and claim it for myself. I wrote letters, uh, uh, claimant letters, I called them, and sent them out to uh, nine world governments plus the United Nations. And uh, nobody challenged me, so I thought, hey, this is going to work. So since uh, 2001, we're going on uh, 16 years now, um, I have you know, affirmed that claim and tried to maintain my, my ownership of that la very large chunk of, of uh, Western Antarctica. Excellent. So what does it take to make a micronation work for 16 years? What types of <laughs> skills or good fortune are needed for that? Well, uh, they're definitely going to have its ups and downs. Um, some some years you have a lot of great successes, and some years it uh, it really is is tough to uh, get people involved and to get uh, you know you have to be able to appear at events and be able to speak intelligently in public, and things like that are very very helpful. Um, it can also be really helpful to draw up some people around you who are willing to help. Um, you know, I've got a great prime minister. I have a uh, minister of technology who I ended up marrying. Um, so it's good to have good to have strong people around you. Excellent. Now, as you know, the Transhumanist Party stands for the advancement of science and technology to improve the human condition. Do you think, as technology advances, there will be more micro nations or more possibilities for creating micro nations? Well, I do because I mean. You've got seasteading, the seasteading sea sea movement, which aims to create independent countries floating out in the middle of the ocean. And I mean, the technological advances that we would be required to do that would be, you know, really astounding. We don't really have that technology yet. Um, but once that technology is there, uh, you can have uh, independent countries in the middle of the ocean. You can have them in Antarctica. You can have them on the moon. You can have them floating through outer space. I mean, wherever you are, you can say, "This is my." This is my nation. These people who are with me are my countrymen. So technology is the the, uh, the, the thing that will give us the pathway to create our own, our own countries. Absolutely. And it's interesting because, in a way, the United States was also created through advancements in technology and navigation that made it possible for Europeans to settle the American country. That is absolutely right. You know, the advances in sailing, navigation, all those sort of things. Um, you know, and then the, the American railways. Once the railways opened up the entire country, so we were able to make America what it is today, thanks to advances in technology. Yes, indeed. So one last question for you is, what can micronationalism and the efforts of people like you teach the rest of us, the citizens of large established political jurisdictions, and how can it perhaps help us overcome some of the political barriers to progress that exist? Well, I, you know, as a micronationalist, I find that I, I have to be a politician a lot of times. So when I go online, I can't just, you know, blast somebody in an online forum. I have to remember that I'm representing I got over 2,000 West Africans that I stand for, I represent them. So when I speak, I speak for all of them. So anyone who's a part of an established political system, they need to remember that when they talk, you know, every action they make is not just them personally. But there you go aside, and remember they're representing 2,000 very different, very varied personalities, different kinds of people. Great advice for anybody leading a nation or a political movement or even an organization. Grand Duke Travis, thank you very much for your time today. Thank you, I appreciate it.